Hi everybody. Happy Thursday. Today is March 21st, 2024. Here with an update. I have not been on for a while. I apologize. It's just uh, that's the way it is. But I got an update on my 31 Rolls Royce. Uh, I got some stuff done on it. It's uh, and I've got a ton on it, but I'm making some headway on it. I've got my chassis is, is almost complete. I got uh, I got so it rolls. Uh, the engine's ready to go in. Um, the wheels turn. Da 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 da. It rolls. Ooh, ooh, that's that's just fun. It rolls. Ooh, yippee yippee. But uh, I found out Rolls Royces are basically black. Um, this this pan right here is supposed to be. I don't know, aluminum or something like that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to paint it or not. One thing I did did do, and I spent a lot of time on it. Um, these wire wheels right here. I took uh, I took my Exacto knife and I went and I scraped all the loose all the loose and uh, funny stuff on there, and it actually made these wheels look real a lot thinner than they normally would be. Um, it was a lot of work. I got a couple hours into those doing all these wheels plus the spares. But I think they came out great, and then I did the tires. I I uh, sanded the tires out, and they look good. And these are on to stay now. They got, uh, they're got they glued on. So, you know, I've test fit the chassis. This chassis was actually warped. It had serious bends going this way, up towards the front. And... Uh, it looks kind of wonky right now, but when I put it in the when I put this in the uh, fender fender uh, part of the body, why well, it all straightens right out. So I'm I'm pretty happy with that. It's going to look good. It's going to sit right. I'm real happy, which is why I've got the wheels on there. I had to see where they actually sit on there. Um, the engine. I'm I'm working on the engine. I've got the engine painted. Um, you know, it's aluminum. So it's aluminum. Uh, crankcase and the sleeves and the, the upper part of the engine is uh, cast iron and I did uh, you can see I did a bunch of uh, toothpick painting on the bolts uh, Rolls-Royce had uh, a pension for putting really nice bolts nuts and stuff on these engines on this side you can't really see that much of it one thing I did do I tried to credit card uh, trick on uh, doing doing uh, script and as you can see I got my Rolls Royce I did that take a credit card cut it cut it or use the edge of it put a little bit of paint on it and you know just so there's not a lot on there and you just rub that across across the top and see if you can see that and it, it didn't leave a mess I was real happy with it you know when I last time I tried that I used tried using a toothpick and I just made a mess I actually had to repaint the whole damn thing but uh, anyway, it does work. I saw a guy do that on a tailgate on a Chevrolet. He did that, and I went, wow, that's a good idea. So that's uh, that's about the end of it. You know, I mean, it's like I say, I'm just uh, still doing stuff. I've got to paint some other things on here. But, uh, yeah, it's coming along, slow but sure. I want uh, I got a couple other things I want to talk about today. Let me get this out of the way here. Okay. Um, my vet setup doesn't really work all that great. So what I did is I went and got one of these. Lint trap kit. You put some water in there, hook it up the back of your, your um, air, uh, paint booth, and goes right in. And the only thing I didn't get for this is I have to get some uh, filters to go over this, go around it, and tape it down. Right? But everything else comes in the kit. So I'm going to give that a shot. I'm going to be uh, priming and priming tonight and painting tomorrow on the Rolls Royce. I'm not sure exactly uh, what colors. I got an idea. I'm going to throw them at you here in a minute. I've got two different colors I was actually thinking about. One of them is uh, gunmetal. Okay, the Tamiya X10, and that's that's a pretty color. I mean, it's actually darker. This is all the all the all the um, metallic in here but when you open it up and i'm not going to open it on camera it's a lot darker it's almost black till you start stirring it up and it actually comes out eh, a little bit lighter than that right there and then i got this at riders today this is called uh 
metallic gray and I really like like the way that color looks um I'm actually thinking about and I was telling my wife I think about two toning this two toning this uh model kit using this uh, the gun metal which is uh the lighter for the for the body then using this for the fenders and for the striping on the body it's got uh, it's got some nice uh definite areas where we can stripe i notice a lot of rolls royces don't do that they do not put stripes on the body moldings they might have some pin striping light pin striping maybe but uh, i don't have anything to put that light of a pin striping on so that's what i'm thinking about that it's either going to be this color or this color or i'm going to two-tone it and then uh, according to that then i'm either going to i got to figure out what color interior i'm going to do and i'm thinking with that color, I'd probably do a uh, dark brown or maybe a black. I don't really want to do black. I thought about a light tan also. Um, I'm not sure. I, I haven't gotten to that point yet. Uh, the body will be painted first before I worry about that. Now, another thing I want to talk about, my friend Chris Martin sent me a Willie's body so I, uh, for my... Uh, Big John Masmanian, and it was all green like this. Well, my good old scale coats, for the first time, failed me. My scale coat two, scale coat two, wash away. This stuff is amazing, amazing. Well, this, my friends, is four and a half hours in the tub, and this is the best I could get out of it. I mean, and I scrub most of this just to get this where I'm at. You can see it hardly even touched this. So I'm going to have to do some sanding. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, I don't know if I'm going to be able to save it or not. I'm going to try like heck. And, of course, the hood, this hood, uh, I don't know what kind of paint Chris used on this or whoever painted it used on it, but that's some tough stuff right there. I got to do some sanding anywhere. There's a glue spot or something on that right there. Got to get that off. But anyway, like I say, I don't know what kind of paint it was, but it didn't come off. And I had to scrub with my brush to get this stuff off. But yeah, there's sand and, sand and time involved with that one. Just want to give you an update. It's not the perfect stuff, but by God, it's the first time I've ever had an issue with it not taking stuff off. All right, then some recent additions to my, uh, my little stash. I've been kind of a busy boy. Um, first off, uh, I picked this up today. The Touch Tone Terror, oh boy. <laughs> you know, HBI guys did a build on this. He did it as a painter's wagon. Um, of course, this is a, a runoff of the Little Red Wagon. Um, according to my friend uh, Q at, at uh, Riders, he said the, the first IPC was different than the second uh, edition of the MPC or whoever made it. And uh, he says he wasn't sure what it was. So I says, open it up. So he opened, took the plastic off and took it off. And he said, this is not the uh, uh, original version. This is the second version. He says, the original version had a plate or something underneath the window here like that. Of course, it had other fun stuff. I'm trying to talk a friend of mine into doing a buddy build with me on this. I don't know if it's going to happen because I haven't heard back from him yet. But... Hopefully he can do something. I'm kind of, <laughs> I've got some kind of fun ideas about that kit. But uh, that should be fun. If he does it, that'd be great. If not, oh, well, I'll figure something out. All right, then the second one I've got on the board is I bought this kit right here. I got the Coronet, I got the Coronet uh, convertible. Now, like, uh, you know, you saw my other my uh, Coronet or my GTX, I did that, which incidentally I placed it in the riders, uh, annual rider show. I got a third place with that. I'm very happy with that. I was really surprised. But anyway, this is going to be a companion to this. I think I'm going to street freak this one out a little bit. I'm not sure what or how or anything, but uh, I think I'm going to kind of uh, mess with this like I did my Mustang, my Boss 302. It's got lots of options in here, but I gotta wait and see see what's going on. I like the trailer; it's gonna be fun. I've got some ideas with that for that thing. And the third one, and the most important one, is okay. Hold on, I gotta get this out of here. Ugh. This car. 
This one, the GSX, seven, the GSX by Ravel. Boy, what a nice looking kit. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be using a lot of it. I have to, a friend of mine, John Castline, he asked me if I would be interested in building a, building a replica of a, one of a, one of his friend's cars. And I says, well, of course I will. I'll be happy to do that. That would be no problem. Well, then I saw he gave me a couple of pictures of his friend's car as well. If I do it the way the car is set up now, I, I'm not going to be using much of this kit. But I did find some videos online of his car from 8, 9, 10, 11 years ago, which is uh, I can use a lot, a lot of this kit. So I'm thinking I'm going there way because uh, he, 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 I got it nice. So I got a fun project. Got a fun project in store for this thing. It's going to be real cool. I got to collect some parts. I got to get a hold of my friend Matthew Inman about getting getting some uh, turbo stuff and uh, maybe some wheels. I'm not sure if he's got the wheels I need or not. But anyway, this is one of them that's that's gonna that's gonna happen. So ugh, I got lots of stuff. You can see I got all kinds of st fun stuff going on. I don't really have anything else. Um, I say once I get paint on my on my Rolls Royce, why it's going to be smooth sailing from there. Once I make some decisions, but uh, I want to thank you folks for stopping by. Sorry I haven't, like I said, sorry I haven't been able to get back on here. I really didn't have anything to show you other than some of my builds, and and I didn't really, I didn't really want to do that anymore. But people that have subscribed and people that visit and there, uh, just I uh, hope hope you enjoy my videos. I'm glad you do. If you do, keep coming back. I sure appreciate. It. Leave comments. I love I love reading them. It's always fun. Don't forget to go see my friend Matthew at, at uh, MCV Products. He's got some st cool stuff, man. I was looking on his, uh, on his uh, website last night, and I'm going, man, oh, man, there's a bunch of stuff I want. But Well, time will tell. But anyway, thank you again. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, I, I will see you very soon, uh, a lot sooner than 8, 9, 10 days or whatever it's been. But in the meantime, this is Billy Bear signing off. You folks take care. Bye.